In this video, we will discuss about how we can crack the web encryption by using a graphical interface utility called Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. In the previous lesson, we saw how we can achieve the same result by using the aircrack suite of utilities from the terminal or command line. In the background, the Fern Wi-Fi Cracker is using the same utilities, the aircrack suite, but in addition, this is offering a nice user interface to work with. So if you're not a type of person who prefers using command line utilities like I am, this video might be just for you. Let's start by enabling web encryption in our access point. For that, we navigate to the wireless tab of the access point administration panel and from here we select wireless security. Right now the security mode is disabled, so we'll need to enable web security by selecting web from the list. Next we are going to use the default transit key 1, so we need to specify the key in the key 1 field. You can put anything here, a more complex or a simple key like the one I'm using in this video. For simplicity I will choose a key that has been used previously, ABCD123456. And don't forget to save and apply the new settings before continuing. Now, let's switch to the PuTTY application which is already connected to my Kali Linux machine running on the Raspberry Pi and from here we try to run the Fern utility. The actual name of the utility is Fern Wi-Fi Cracker, separated by dashes, but I'm always referring it as Fern. I made the same mistake here and tried to run it from the command line. But anyway, in the Raspberry Pi's image of Kelly Linux, Fern Wi-Fi Cracker is not available by default, so we will need to install it. If you're using the VirtualBox image of the Kelly Linux, Fern Wi-Fi Cracker is available by default. If the utility is not available in your system, like in my case, you will need to install it by using the Kelly Linux Package Manager, apt-get. So we will use apt-get, install, fair dash wi-fi dash cracker and we end the line with the minus y option which runs the apt get command in the non-interactive mode by responding with yes to any question that the application might ask now in my case this was a large install not the fair utility itself but there are a lot of dependencies that needs to be installed before being able to run fern the whole process took about 2 minutes in my case, I just fast forwarded the video here. Now that the Fern utility has been installed, let's give it a try. But before doing that, remember what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that Fern is a graphical utility. In order to be able to run it, we need to use the graphical interface of Kali Linux. For that we will use the tight VNC application that we installed previously. We run the tight VNC server command and this will print out a message saying that new X desktop is Kelly colon 1. Now let's open the tight VNC viewer application by selecting it from the window start menu. Here we need to specify the IP address of our Kelly Linux machine, address that can also be seen in the putty's title bar. In my case the address is already present as I have previously connected to the Kelly Linux machine. The important part is the port that we specify after the address separated by column. The default tight VNC port starts with 5900 but the last digit needs to correspond to the session used by our server. As the tight VNC server used session number 1 when started we will specify 5901 as the port number. And finally we click connect. Next we have to provide a password that we used when we installed tight VNC. You still remember that password, right? And after that we can see the Kali Linux graphical interface. Great! Let's open the terminal application by selecting it from the applications menu and inside this we will type fern. Ah, my mistake again, it's fern wi fi cracker and after a few moments the application should start. Fern is capable of cracking both web and WPA or WPA version 2 keys. In this video we will use it to crack our web key. We start by selecting our wireless interface WLAN 0. 
Fern is smart enough to put our interface into monitor mode in case you didn't put it yourself previously. Next we can scan for the available access points. After a few more seconds the scanning is complete and Fern has discovered two web encrypted wireless networks and 12 networks that are using WPA or WPA2 encryption. As one of the two wireless networks that are using web encryption is our wireless lab network, I wonder what's the second one. This is a good example that people are still using web encryption these days and they really shouldn't. Anyway, let's click the web button in order to continue. A new window appears which displays our web encrypted wireless networks. And uh, the other network that is using web is called the perfect place. I guess it's not that perfect after all if they are using web, haha. <laughs> anyway, we select our network from the list which is wireless lab and we can see more details about it. I don't know how good the screen capturing program is here because we are running this over the VNC connection so the video quality is not that good, sorry for that. Now let's start the fun part. In order to automate the whole process we check the automate option right under the attack button. And that's all, we press attack and we can see each step of the attack on the left side. The process could be slower than the one that we saw when using the aircrack suite of utilities from the command line, but this time we have a nice user interface. We just have to wait now until the attack completes. I will fast forward the video here, but the whole process took about 4 minutes. We can see the number of IVs or initialization vectors increasing, which is a good sign, as web cracking requires a lot of these IVs. As we got about 4000 IVs, the progress bar color changed from red to yellow, meaning that we are on the right path. At about 7000 IVs, the progress bar color changed to green, meaning that we are almost there, just a few more moments. And uh, at about 45000 IVs, we were able to see the cracked web key, which is the one that we supplied when we set up our access point. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in this video, we use the graphical interface utility called Fern Wi-Fi Cracker to crack the web key of our wireless network. Fern can also be used to crack WPA or WPA version 2 keys by using a dictionary file. Fern is very easy to use, so if you're not the command line type of person, Fern might be a better option for you. Thanks for watching.